Hey everyone, it's Mr. Casual Gamer today with a guide on how to make money in Guild Wars. Um, a lot of people have been asking me um, how I got my OB armor and just how I you know, made money in general in the game. So I got a handy dandy list here on how to make some money that I found out over you know, kind of a long, boring playing time. Right, so if you're into the whole you know, player versus player, um, we come to our first point, which is Z keys. You can make a lot of money um, by selling Z keys. Um, to acquire Z keys, um, you give the tournament guy, which is standing over there, I believe, that guy, the Tolcano tournament guy, 5,000 of your Balthazar factions. So you go down here and say buy Zation key with Balthazar faction. And you can sell those for about, um, you can sell for about 5k, uh, 4.5k to 5k in Temple of Belsazar. Now, to get those 5,000 uh, Belsazar points, um, you can do about two ways. Um, the Zation point farm, which is really effective in actually getting um, all the points that you need. And also normal um, player versus player, AB, Team Arena, and, and all that. Um, then another one, this is uh, goes still under player versus play pl player versus player, is um, here's the sand. Now, if you actually hold one of the halls and you have a team that's good enough, um, you can make a lot of money with the rewards. Okay, so we come to our second point, which is power trading. Now, power trading sounds simple, but you know you got to know the market, and it normally only works if you have about 100k and plus funds. Now, the basic idea of power trading is you have someone that's selling 15 ectos for 100k, and you buy that, and then you see someone wanting to buy 13 ectos for 100k, so you make a two ecto profit. And you know that works pretty well. I've been kind of doing that later. Um, I've been getting some good money with that. Um, then we come to number three, which is one of my favorite ones. Uh, my favorite way to make money, which is feather farming. Now feather farming can be really profitable if you take down the time, if you take the time to actually sit down and farm out the feathers. Now feather farming, as you can see, um, the build I have right now is actually a ritualist feather farming build and I'll be posting some links in the sidebars um, to PVX wiki and other places for the builds that I'm about to um, explain to you guys. Um, now there are two places which are quite um, helpful for feather farming and that's outside of Saitung Harbor in the Newbie Island in Nine Factions and also right outside Lion's Arch. So that's feather farm, f farming, and now we come to our fourth point, which is the 600, which is the monk smiter build. Now the 600 has been used in a lot of kind of walkthroughs, and especially in mission and uh, boss kills. But you can use a 600 to run COF, which is Cathedral of Flames, which is the dungeon in um, Ida North, outside of Doomwall Shrine. Um, you with a 600. Uh, again, for the COF, um, normally people charge about 2k per run, um, so if you have a buddy that's, and uh, no normally you, you can do it with a, with a hero smiter, but you have a lot of people that would normally want to be smiters to get the extra drops. Um, so, also with the 600 you can do uh, Underworld Ecto Farm, uh, but I wouldn't recommend doing that because that's kind of slow. And number six, we're coming up with the Perma, which is an assassin build. Um, it's a permanent use um, of an elite skill. Um, the name of it, I just forgot. Wow. I can't believe I just forgot the name of it. Ah, uh, Shadowform. Right there. Jeez. Gosh, Shadowform. The permanent use of Shadowform, um, which makes you um, unhittable by basically all attacks and spells. Um, so with the Primer you can do a lot of things. Um, you can do ec uh, actual profitable Ector farm in the underworld, even though that has been nerfed several times. Um, you can do also something, you can do a Raptor farm, uh, which can be done by allies and warriors. Now the Raptor farm is outside Radosum in... in, I don't know, I'm just not on the top of my game today. 
Um, then you have, uh, with a perma, you can also use speed clears. Um, now you do not need a perma for speed clears. Speed clears, if you clear um, an elite mission area, um, probably in about 20 to 30 minutes I've seen people do it. So the normal speed clears are for underworld and fissure wall. Um, so a uh, perma is a valuable part for uh, uh, underworld speed clear team. So and also for fissure wall speed clear team. Um, so we come up to number eight, which is um, farming for vents. Um, farming for vents is syncs very well with um, feather farming. What it basically is is you collect as much booze and um, candy canes and all that you know festival stuff that you can then sell in stacks, which can normally go for a lot of money, especially trick and treat bags. Um, so we're coming up to number nine, which is nightfall treasure. Now I like doing this because it's really easy and it can get you about 7 to 10k per character if you have um, Nightfall. Um, now what you need for the Nightfall treasure runs is a character that has completed um, all of Nightfall. Uh, well not actually all of it but it's basically you basically need to complete all of Nightfall for it to be really profitable. Um, what happens is you run around and pick up these treasures and do not touch and bury treasures um, for about a 2k and a gold drop. And now these treasures reset every 2 to 3 months. So, you know, that's a good way to um, pick up some money. Uh, now we're coming up to one of my favorite ones, which is running. Um, running places ha I've been doing for a long time on my Warrior. I actually have a video if you guys want to check it out how to run from LA to uh, from Lion's Arch to Temple of Ages. Now running can get you a lot of money because normally it's pretty fast and a lot of people normally need them. So the three runs that I've been that I always thought were very profitable was Alona Reach, which I do with my perma, which is Alona Reach is one of the three missions uh, in the desert and prophecies. Um, so Alona Reach, a perma, and a ranger can run. Um, now you have the typical um, LA. TOA and Sanctum K runs, which is just from Lion's Arch to Temple of Ages and Sanctum K, and also to Ascalon. Now, LA to TOA is normally 1K, and LA to Sanctum K is 2K, and LA to Ascalon and the other way around is also 2K. Um, now you have come to the to Drox run, which is about 2 to 3K, which is from Beacon's Purge to Darkness run, uh, Darkness Forge, and that one's a little bit more challenging, so I'll be careful about that one. Um, also, if you have a perma, which I forgot to mention, is you can actually run Sanctum K. Um, the actual mission, you just run through it and just chill in the end, so that's also how I've been making my money. Um, now we come to the last general ones, which is pick up everything. Uh, I think this is one of the most important things, is you pick up everything, and this is, your merchant is basically your best friend. Um, so you gotta, there is some strategy to it though, because you want to salvage materials. Um, the most profitable materials in the game at the moment are feathers, dust, and plant fibers. Now, if you get a stack of those, they can only to sell for about 11k. I know that you can sell feathers for 11k in Kamada, which I normally do. So, if you have a stack of feathers, which is 250, which you can get pretty fast, that's 11k. That's a pretty good profit. Um, so, salvage for materials. And now one small one, which I was never that big of a fan of, but if you don't really mind about your um, gold identifi identification title, you can sell gold items that you don't really need that have a better requirement for about 700 gold each. Just stand in a main place and you know, sell, say, selling unidentified, they have to be unidentified, golds for 700, and you'll normally find a buyer. So that was my little guide on how to make some money in Guild Wars. It shouldn't... I always had, I, I never really needed the money, but you know, I just thought it would be kind of cool to buy my friends some stuff. So again, that was Mr. Casual Gamer, hope you guys enjoyed it, and go make some money, but don't be greedy, and keep it all for yourself, spend the wealth. See you guys next time, hope you do subscribe and rate and comment and all that, yay, sweet, see ya.